Hi, today I'd like to show you an easier, faster and inexpensive way to make PCBs at home using UV resin. But first, if you find this kind of content useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It helped me a lot motivating myself to keep on posting new stuff. Since I made the video about how to make a PCB using a 3D printer, I've been trying to work on the printing parameters to make it more reliable. And changing the nozzle to 0.02 gave me good results, but it's a pain to change the nozzle every time since I don't normally use it to print other things. So I thought I could use my resin 3D printer instead. And I searched on YouTube if other people had tried this method. I found a couple of videos on the topic, throwing different results. But I can see three problems. It's difficult to adjust the printing parameters, it's not that fast and reliable, and of course you'd need a resin 3D printer. So I thought, okay, do you really need a printer for that? So I simplified the method using just resin and UV light and a negative of the PCB that will substitute the LCD screen that blocks the light in the printer. I'll try to make this video short, so I'll go through the whole process quite fast until we reach the tricky part. First, this is the list of the things I'll be using. I started with a mirrored image of the PCV I wanted to make. I inverted the colors to make it a negative. Note that the black parts will be exposed to the etchant. I vectorized the image using Illustrator. You can use similar software such as Inkscape or Freehand. Now I can scale it to the needed size and copy as many as I can fit in an A4. Time to go to the local printing shop and ask the gentleman to make a couple of transparencies for us. He'll be absolutely delighted to be forced to use a machine that he used for the last time in 1997. Ok, so now we come to the important part. First, let's prepare the surface of the copper plate and be sure it's completely clean. Now we cut one of the negatives, keeping track of where the printed side is. Note that the resin solves the ink, so try to avoid direct contact between them. We don't want the resin to get stuck to our negative, so we should apply a layer of something to prevent that from happening. I'm using a candle. You can use fancy wax based demoldant, but this is cheaper and works for me. Note that I'm applying the wax on the unprinted part, so I can reuse the negative and avoid contact with the resin. Now we put some drops of resin over the copper. I'm using water washable UV resin for 3D printing. It's not expensive at all, and if you just use it for this, it will last forever. Remember to do this in a place with artificial light. Daylight will harden your resin. Try to create an even layer of resin. Now place the negative on top. Remember that the waxed part should be in contact with the resin. I have to stop here for a moment. It is important that you take your time in this step. There might be bubbles that you want to avoid. And if the layer of resin is not even, it might result in under or over curing of the resin, making the mask unusable. Ok, now we need an UV light source. I tried to use the sun, but it wasn't very reliable, so I used a cheap UV lantern instead. I suggest that you experiment with the curing time, about 15 cm from the light source and around 12 seconds worked for me. It is time to remove the negative. I started from one corner, being sure that the resin stays in touch with the copper. I found out after that letting it stay under hot water for around a minute helped a lot. 
Now we have to wash carefully the excess of uncured resin. I'm using water and a bit of soap, but you might have to use other products, like alcohol, depending on the resin you're using. Once all the unexposed parts are clean, we can cure our resin a bit longer. Again, I found out later that this step was crucial, since the mask tended to peel when the resin was under cured. I learned it the hard way. Now we follow the normal steps for your preferred etching method. Prepare the agent, put the PCB inside, move from time to time, take it out when it's ready, clean and we are ready. We finally got our pretty decent PCB ready to use. I'm really glad with the result and I'll be definitely using this for prototyping. And that's the reason why I wanted to share it with you. If it's useful for me, I hope somebody will find it useful too. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you succeeded or not using this method. Let me know as well if you would find other content useful, such as how to apply a solder mask or how to make a two layers PCB. Thanks for watching.